Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our main event of the afternoon. This is an elimination kickboxing match scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the cruiserweight division. Out of the blue corner, Kelly Igor. Main event, 154-pound boxing. Three two-minute rounds in the super welterweight division. And Kelly Airhorn. No? Engler. Mr. Englert goes by the chaos. That's how you say his last name? That's what I have on my sheet. I've got E H R H O R N. Airhorn? Ah. But Freak Beast. But that's maybe I'm wrong. I, I have two different sheets yeah. here. <laughs> I well that's that's his nickname, the Chaos Englert. All right. So I think it's Kelly Airhorn, but it's the Chaos Englert. That's confusing. <laughs> Not, right? That it is. That it is. How about we go with uh, out of the red corner? Chaos. <laughs> Darian Lipper. We'll A stick and move boxing fighter. Darian Lou Pierre. Tattoo face man. That's hardcore. The chaos. Him. All right, our tail of the tape, Kelly Englert, 31 years old, five feet, six inches tall, 155 pounds, making his debut as an unorthodox fighter, facing us against Denver, Colorado's Darian LaPierre, 22 years old, Height advantage at six feet four inches tall, one fifty two. Wow! And three and zero, oh, also an orthodox fighter. And Mr. Englert, okay. Sioux Falls, Idaho, is you being represented. You are correct, sir. This does not surprise me. Well, now you saw where it was written. <laughs> you saw where it was written poorly <laughs> that on I one did. area. That I. Did. It's not like I pulled it out of my backside <laughs> or anything. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the afternoon. Boy, battle of the tattoos. This is Sparta! Yeah! Fighting out of the blue corner. He's an unorthodox style fighter making his debut. Standing five foot six inches tall. He weighed in at 155 pounds with 605 boxing MMA from Sioux Falls, Idaho, <laughs> Kelly! The Chaos Eagler! <laughs> Fighting on the Endurance General Contracting Red Corner. Chaos Eagler. He is an Orthodox style fighter with a record of three wins, no losses. Setting six Five, foot four inches tall. Six, four. He weighed in at 152 pounds with stick and move boxing from Denver, Colorado, Darian El Sicario! Le Pierre! you were given instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Push close if you want. Back to your corners. La Pierre? Yep. Kelly Engler. He's the one with tattoos on his entire face. <laughs> Angler just going in brawling. Another different fight with a shorter fighter with a big long reach advantage with a taller fighter. Yeah. Lou Pierre working to keep his distance. Yeah, to try to put those long jab. limbs. Lou Pierre with those jabs. And our screen says air horn, so let's go with that. That way the people reading the screen getting the same thing as what we're saying. <laughs> Both hey. fighters list themselves as unorthodox. 
That's really our first time on, first time on a name <laughs> flummox tonight. Boom! Both these guys going at it. Airhorn with a lot of pressure. Lupierre is with the left hand that landed nicely. He's got to have it, ain't it's reach. Yeah, and he's doing a nice job of trying to utilize that as well. Airhorn working to bridge that gap, finding success at times. So basically both these guys doing exactly what they need to try to do. And both of them being effective at thwarting the other at times. Yes. Lupierre looking for some place to go and he really can't find anything with the jab, trying to draw his opponent in. Yeah, corner of Airhorn saying they want him to cut off Lupierre. Keep him from being able to circle away. Airhorn just keeps coming. Airhorn looking for a touch of gloves. Neither fighter utilizing the stool between rounds. Usually means they're in shape, JR, or yes, make, trying to make you appear that they're in shape. It's one <laughs> of the two. There you go, round two or three. Close first round. It was. Yeah, both of them successfully implementing their game plans at times. Which, you, I mean, you just have such an opposite trend in this fight. You know, the last couple of fights we've seen even height-wise stuff like that. This has not been the case. <laughs> Little verbal action there in the clinch. Oh, I'm just stumbling forward his hair horn. Yeah, he's having really a really wants to get in close. Well, it's not only the, the reach, but then the lean back ability that. Yeah, and, and the defensive footwork of Luke here. Yeah, and his lean back makes him really tough to hit. He's not, that's six, that's six inches away from hitting his face. Not a lot of strikes thrown in this round. I can hear the corner of Lou Pierre all the way across the ring screaming, let your hands go. Yep. Just hasn't been a lot of action. 33 seconds left. There is a couple shots. Oh, Aaron got in with a nice shot. Oh, the oh, back Luke comes Pierre Luke Pierre with two shots. It's pretty even trades all round long. That's a tough round to call right there. Yeah. Yeah, very difficult. Neither fighter got off with shots that were excessively clean or powerful and Everybody had to answer for everybody else's attack. Airhorn and Lipierre. Six, seven, and I don't know. I think it was five, nine. Maybe five, six. Stewie knows. Stewie knows everything. Six, four, and five, six. 
I can I can identify with the five six mark a lot better. Final round, main event for this afternoon, Sparta 101 card. Dawn of a new era. Dawn of a new era, a new breed of fighter. We may have saw that today. <laughs> oh, Lupierre Lou with the Pierre shot. putting it together. Lupierre listened, must have listened in that corner of let it, let it fly there. Yes, indeed. Boy, just elbows and knees is, <laughs> is what Lupier is. Everything flying around in there. Oh. Minute left in this round. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an interesting mouthpiece pickup. <laughs> I don't know how many thousands of rounds I've yeah. called. That that is a new one. That's got to go on a highlight reel or something. I don't know that I've I've never seen it. Oh, just over thirty seconds to go. Arrowhorn getting a couple shots in. Both these guys looking to goes his mouthpiece again. Both these guys looking to have a strong finish. He doesn't care. Referee calling time here. Don't lose your mouthpiece or cup. <laughs> I've seen that. Was it, were you watching the fight? Okay. Wasn't sure if we called that one together. Yep. Stiff jab landed. Oh, Lupier sets his feet and right. counters. Oh, yeah. Biggest punch of the fight, no problem. And Airhorn smiles at him. That was the biggest punch of the fight. No Absolutely. doubt, knocked his mouthpiece out again. Third time, and that can be a, a point. That can be a point deduction. It's a rules wow. infraction. If they if think they you spin the mouthpiece out to gain more time. Right, right. But don't you want a clean one going back in? What's on that canvas? I certainly would. Man, what a way to kick off the new year. And that's only the first half. Yeah. Judges will have their hands full with this one. <laughs> I think the end of the fight was controlled by Leperrier. Agreed. And, and yeah. I think that's what is going to be the deciding factor. Quite likely but, so. You know, you, it, you can't go back and rescore rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, after that battle, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this about 30-27 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Darian El Sicario Lupierre. Congratulations, Mr. Lupierre. Going to go home with the victory. Good back and forth fight to close it out yeah, here for sure this was. afternoon. Fight fans, we're going to be back at 6 p.m. for the evening show. About an hour and a half. See you then. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the afternoon card.